Hello everyone, I am Dr. Bhavamit Joshi from Aspire MDS and in this video we are going to discuss about beam attenuation which can take place either through scattering or through absorption. So as we know in our dental imaging the x-rays they pass through the face where they interact with the hard as well as soft tissue and then they strike the sensor. Now as the beam is going through the patient that is both the hard as well as soft tissue the intensity of the beam gets reduced and when it's reducing the process or the phenomena is known as attenuation or the beam attenuation the intensity of the x-ray beam getting reduced now this, this reduction in the intensity is either through absorption or through scattering now what are this processes so what happens in the absorption interaction is when the photons these photons when they interact with the atoms what they'll do they'll give up all the energy to the electron present in this atom and this energy given to the electrons will be converted to the kinetic energy of the electron and this electron will get removed from the atom but ultimately the photon itself will cease to exist that means the photon no longer exists now so this kind of interaction is known as absorption interaction whereas in another kind of interaction what happens when this photon is interacting with the electron in the atom it will not give up all of the energy it will give only some of the energy so this some of the energy will be converted in the form of kinetic energy of this electron whereas the remaining energy with which the photon had entered there it will be it will still be there but now the direction of the photon will be changed that means the photon is now scattered so this kind of interaction is known as scattering interactions so this attenuation can be either through absorption or scattering interaction that we have seen when we are talking about the scattering it can either be due to coherent scattering or Compton scattering whereas the absorption is the photoelectric absorption now let's see this processes one by one now when a low energy photon will interact with this atom now this is our atom when a low energy photon will interact with this what will happen it will give up all of its energy to this particular atom and when it does so what will happen it will become excited now this excited atom after some time will come back to its normal stage and will give up the energy in the form of another photon now this another photon will have same amount of energy as the incident photon but the direction of this photon is changed that means effectively the direction of the incident photon itself is changed so this is kind of scattering and this type of scattering is known as coherent scattering now this coherent scattering accounts for 7% of the all interactions and its other name are Rayleigh, Classical and Elastic Scattering. Now this will contribute very little to the film fog because first number of electrons are very less only 7% plus their energy is also very less. So it is not going to contribute more to the film. Now let's talk about another kind of interaction. Now here what is happening is the incident photon will go and act upon this electron as we can see here. Now some of the energy of this particular photon will be taken up by this electron and this electron will be moved out of the orbit. So some let's say this was this photon's energy was x. The energy k or the kinetic energy is taken away by the electron. Now the energy y that the scattered photon has is equal to x minus k. Right. Plus the direction of this photon is also changed as you can see. So this kind of scattering that we are getting, it is known as Compton scattering. Now this Compton scattering is accounting for 57% of this interactions. This is directly proportional to the electron density of the absorber. So if we take, uh, let's say a hard bone or let's say hard tissue and soft tissue, obviously the electron density will be more in the hard tissue than the soft tissue. So the Compton scattering will be more in the hard tissue as compared to the soft tissue. Right. And then the third kind of interaction where what happens when the incident photon acts upon the electron of the inner orbit. Now all the energy of this incident photon will be given up to this particular electron 
and as we know this energy of this incident photon will be converted to kinetic energy of this electron and this place now will be vacant. Now what happens if you remember as we had discussed in the chapter of X-ray production. In this case the electron which is in outer orbit will come back to this place. Now while coming back here as the electron moves from one orbit to another orbit the balance or the difference between the energy of these two orbits let's say this x orbit and y orbit will be given up in the form of a photon which is known as characteristic radiation right but here the energy of this characteristic radiation or the characteristic photon is so less that it will be get it will get absorbed within the patient itself and it will not reach the film right so this kind of interaction is known as photoelectric absorption now photoelectric absorption they account for 27 percent of the interaction and this is very important from the uh, image formation point of view so now this frequency of this photoelectric absorption that is photoelectric absorption is directly proportional to cube of atomic number so higher the atomic number of the object more the photoelectric absorption so again here the hard tissue will have more chances of photoelectric absorption as compared to the soft tissue. If you see by numbers, the hard tissue has 6.5 times greater chances of photoelectric absorption as compared to the softer tissue. Now, if you remember the video on the latent image formation, we had discussed about how absorption or the X-rays passing through the object will help in formation of the image as either radio opaque. Or radiolucent okay so we have discussed about the beam attenuation in the form of coherent or Compton scattering as well as photoelectric absorption okay that's all from this video if you have any doubts please feel free to post in the comment section all the best prepare for neat MDS with aspire MDS online course where we provide live classes by the subject expert faculty members whole syllabus of the video lectures notes delivered to your place more than 300 online tests more than 20,000 questions in the question bank, doubt solving and much more.